Hi there, and welcome to this video on A-level chemistry for the AQA specification, focusing on the topic of alkanes, and in particular, the modification of alkanes by cracking. Hi, I'm Manisha from StudyMind, where we help you to revise A-level chemistry with our helpful revision resources tailored to your subject, your specification, and to you. If you're new here, please make sure to click that subscribe button, and whilst you're watching, please leave any comments down below about anything you're unsure of. If it's your first time watching, make sure to let us know so we can send you our free revision resources. We also have helpful timestamps to guide you through the video. So, let's get started. Welcome to lesson two of four in this tutorial, covering the modification of alkanes by cracking. This is the second video in our series of four lessons on the topic of alkanes. Here is the key learning objective for this tutorial. We'll be looking at how cracking can modify alkanes. Here are the AQA specification points we'll be covering in today's lesson. Feel free to pause the video now and have a quick read through them before we begin. First, we'll be looking at the bond that is broken during cracking. Cracking is how we break down larger alkanes into short chain alkanes. This is quite cost effective, since we need more short chain alkanes than we can get in crude oil. We can produce these compounds from the less useful longer chain alkanes. Let's look at this example of a cracking reaction. We can take octane, which is a fairly large alkane, and break it down into three different alkanes, namely butane, propane, and methane. These are all short chain alkanes, which are much more useful. Now let's move on to look at thermal cracking. There are two main types of cracking that we'll look at today. These are thermal cracking and catalytic cracking. Thermal cracking uses very high temperatures and very high pressures. The end products of thermal cracking are mainly alkenes. These alkenes can then be used to produce a variety of products such as plastics. Next, we'll be looking at catalytic cracking. The other type of cracking is catalytic cracking. This uses a high temperature, a low pressure and a zeolite catalyst also known as hydrated aluminiosilicate. This is much cheaper and leads to a higher rate of reaction compared to thermal cracking. We can produce petrol and other fuels, and even aromatic hydrocarbons, which contain a benzene ring. We've now covered all the specification points for today's lesson. Feel free to skip back through the video and re-watch anything you feel unsure about. We've now completed Lesson 2. If you liked this video, make sure to catch our latest videos by subscribing down below and leaving a comment on a topic that you'd like to see a video on. Click here to watch more videos on our series of A-level chemistry or visit our website studymind.co.uk for past paper compilations by topic and specification.